G'day guys and welcome to the next installment of the Unsealed 4x4 Garage. I've got Ben from DriveTech 4x4 and we're going to show you guys the correct way to mount, install, fit, whatever you want to call it, LED driving lights. Now what have we got today Ben? Alright so today we've got the Isuzu here. Obviously we don't have any lights on the vehicle at all so we're going to fit a set of DriveTech 4x4 9 inch right. spotlights yep. and also a 30 inch light bar. Perfect well you've got some lights set up on the bench over here. Let's go and take a closer look at them and see what goes into it and what makes you all so special. Sure let's go have a look. So the 9-inch lights, obviously what we try and do is create different mounting options for different vehicles. Right. So the 9-inch lights here, you have a, have a side mount, which attaches to those two bolts, which allows you to actually manoeuvre the okay. light backwards and forwards to get the right angle. Yep. That's one option. Another option is this inbuilt bottom bracket, which obviously moves backwards and forwards as well. Right, OK. Um, so if you are a bit restricted with, with room and you can't fit that, yep. then that's a secondary option for those lights. What have we got here? Uh, the good old light covers. Yep. Obviously these are a polycarbonate lens, they're pretty tough. Yep. But for a bit of added strength, these just clip straight on. Okay, and these are an extra? They are an extra. Okay. And the big boy at the back? The 30 inch light bar. Oh gee, it's weighty. Yeah, she's a big number. She's a big number. Okay. So IP67 rated, what we do is design a bar with the spot beam through the middle. Yep. And we've got the spread on the outside, so we call it a combination beam. Perfect. Uh, but really does give a good displacement of light. With the light bar we have a couple of different mounting options. We do have a side mount, which obviously attaches to the side of the bar. So right through there. Correct, that way. Now we've also got a, a lower mount, which slides into the bottom track and moves in and out. So it just gives a few different options, again, depending on the vehicle Perfect. and where you want to mount on the vehicle. So you really could mount these anywhere, as long as it's legal in your, your in place your where you live, in your state, yeah. So you can mount these on a roof rack or a nudge bar or a bull bar, anything like that. Yep, correct. And we also do a 20 inch and 11 inch, so. Okay got the right light bar to suit your needs. Brilliant. It's probably time we get these on this nice Isuzu MUX we've got yeah, here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's Great. get into it. All right, let's go. All right, we're back at the front of this uh, MUX. It's got a nice, strong steel wool bar on the front of it with heaps of different options for mounting. But we have noticed with these nine inches, it's going to be a little bit tight. So Ben, we've decided to go with the bottom mount, haven't we? Exactly. Yeah, like I was saying before, there's a couple of different mounting options. Yep. But this one, if, you, if we put them in now, Using the bottom mount, you can actually see that it's a really nice fit. Um, not a lot of tolerance in here, so we wouldn't be able to fit the side bracket. But obviously, we've got the second option down there, so it's going to work perfectly. But that, it leaves you with a lot of room for airflow, and you know, if you want to put a winch control box, you've exactly got space. Right. So that's exactly quite right. good. Yep. So all we're going to do is attach these nuts and bolts, and then we can start aligning the lights. I'll race you. Okay, let's go. All right, so we've mounted the lights through the bottom bolt, and they're fairly secured. Not. 100% tight yet, but they're pretty tight. Ben's told me about a really good trick he's got to getting these to a good point, to a good starting point, so you can go out and experiment and play a little bit more with your lights. Okay, so all you need is something straight, like a level. Cool. Um, the first thing you want to do is try and get the lights parallel. Right. So you don't want them shining outwards or inwards. The easiest way to do it is either a piece of timber or a level or something straight. Yep. And all you do is just basically lay it across the front of the lights. You do the same on your side there. You adjust your light a little bit. Now we know we've got the lights perfectly square. Once we've done that, we can actually run the level across the lot like that. Right. And get the lights perfectly level vertically as well. So that way you've got a really good starting point. We can lock the lights into position. Got a good, really good starting point. Best thing then is to go out on a long straight road and you can tweak them to your requirements. Exactly right. Because this could change if you raise your suspension or your tyres or something like exactly that. Exactly right. So it's yeah. just a good, simple starting point and everyone's got access to a spirit level. You can get apps on your phone these days that do it. That's so. true too, you could probably use your iPhone, yeah. Exactly right. <laughs> Alright, so just a couple of Allen keys now. A couple of Allen keys, we we'll nip it up. Yep. And uh, Plug then them we in can start wiring them up. On the Isuzu here we've decided to use the light bar mounting brackets. We've actually flipped them upside down to ensure that we can mount the light bar as low as possible. There you go guys, we've shown you a couple of different options for mounting driving lights to your four wheel drive, as well as the best ways you can actually get the most out of them. This is going to get you out on the tracks, you're going to have to muck around with them a little bit more, but it's a really good point and a really good tip, thanks for showing us. No problem at all. One thing's left to do though, we've got to put these covers, put the covers on. covers on. The finishing touch. Actually that's not the last thing. Oh, we better turn them on. Yeah, switch them on. Let's have a look. You ready? Go for it. <laughs> well, they definitely work. They do. Now, if people want to get these on their four-wheel drives, where do they need to go, Ben? 
Easy. Go to drivetech4x4.com.au to find your nearest stockers. Brilliant. Thanks again. Thanks Always a, a pleasure. Cheers, Ed. Cheers, mate. Thanks.